Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy KK in it, but y'all can call me KK for short. And today, uh, well, not today, but last night, Lana Del Rey came out with a new single. So I am excited to hear it. Um, it is called Chemtrails Over the Country Club. I have no idea what that means. Maybe like chemtrails, you know, chemistry, you know, maybe love, you know, you have a lot, have a lot of chemistry to, you know, if you want to be in love, you feel me? At least that's the feeling. Or maybe it's just, you know, science. Who freaking knows? But I'm excited. Honestly, I haven't really been that excited since, you know, uh, for a new Lana in, uh, since Born to Die. Um, you can see it, it's right there. You know? Cute little vinyl. Lana, why are you staring at me like that? Okay. Uh, let's get started. Oh, um, before we start, if you um, like my reaction, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to your boy, you feel me? And subscribe. Yeah, it's because Scott can get home me a la la. But anyway, let's get started. I love the somber piano and just like the feeling. You know, Lana always brings that sadness, you know. Ooh, you heard that high note? I think she's finally gonna be playing more with her voice again because like in Born to Die, like she was doing a lot of different things with her voice, which is why I loved it a lot. And like and like, you know, in her later releases, I just felt like she wasn't really like playing with her voice that much. It felt like the same drab voice, vocal delivery that she's known for, but like I feel like she's kinda like evolving here a little. Hit me with the sad. Hit me with the sad, please. Just hear the like instrumental slowly evolving too. Just like adding like the layers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you hear this? Whoa. This build up, you hear this? Yo, yo, that was amazing. Just like, like just the like, such a somber feeling. Like that's, that's what you're gonna get with Lana, but like, yo, man. That was freaking crazy, man. Like the amount of escalation and build up like throughout the whole track, that was freaking crazy like it was just like suffocating you like as it went on like you're gonna like be encapsulated with this like drab and dreary and just like unsettling like and just harmonious and peaceful like rush of freaking music it's cr it was crazy and like and her vocals were like i felt like they were way stronger on this one they were way stronger like i felt i feel like she's gonna be playing more with her voice because like oh my gosh and just like the amount of like sorrow oh man i'm really excited for like the new album that's gonna come out i may need to listen to um her last one again because i don't know i only listened to it once because i wasn't really feeling it but like i may need to like look let's do it again shoot maybe i'll re listen to it on this channel but shoot bro that was amazing. I can't wait for her album whenever it comes out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, um, please leave a like and subscribe to your boy. Because, you know, uh, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow a nice community. You know, trying to talk with y'all. Uh, tell me what y'all think about the track. Tell me what y'all think about Lana in general. What's your favorite Lana project? You already know mine. Born to Die. Right there. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, um, I'm gonna clear it. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Peace. I just pause on walking, y'all up in the fucking beach crush. I just flew to Italy to grab a slice of pizza. We just live it different, but to you that doesn't mean much. I 
just heard your album, hoes, you know you kinda stink.